June 30, 1908, 7.15 a.m., an object half the size of a football field plunged down from space at around 34,000 miles per hour. Oh, hello. Just imagine an explosion, thousand times more powerful than the Hiroshima in any big metropolitan city like uh, Shanghai, Washington DC or Kanpur. What will happen and how devastating it can be? Well, I think for better understanding, we should consider Thanguska event or Kanguska Savitya. It was June 30, 1908, around 7.14 am when Venki natives and Russian settlers observed a column of bluish light nearly as bright as the sun moving across the sky. About 10 minutes later, there was a flash and sound similar to artillery fire. The sounds were accompanied by a shock wave that knocked people off their feet and broke windows up to hundreds of kilometers away. It was the enormous Tunguska explosion that occurred near Tunguska river in Russia, one of the largest impact events on earth in recorded history. It's estimated that it knocked down 80 million trees in the area of around 2,000 square kilometer. Shock waves from blast measured 5.0 on richer magnitude scale. Energy produced from this impact was around 15 megatons of TNT, thousand times more powerful than the Hiroshima atomic bomb explosion, enough to destroy large metropolitan cities entirely. Air waves from this blast were detected in Germany, Denmark, Croatia, UK, and as far as Washington DC. Over next few days, night skies in Europe and Asia were aglow as much as that possible to read newspapers in midnight. This blast was visible from at least 800 km away. For more than a decade, this event remained untouched since the center of explosion was far away from Russian mainland. But in 1921, Russian mineralogist Leonid Kulik led a team to both Kamenia Tunguska River Basin to conduct a survey. Although they never visited the central blast area, but many local accounts of the event lead Kulik to believe that the explosion had been caused by a giant meteorite impact. On his second coming, Kulik led a scientific expedition to this Tunguska blast site in 1927. Entering the central blast area, Kulik was expecting to find a big impact crater, but to their surprise, there was no crater to be found at ground zero. Instead, there was a zone of 8 km where trees were scorched and devoid of branches but still standing upright. So, what caused this event? Today, it's more than 100 years to this event, but it's still not 100% factual that what actually caused this event. However, there are some scientific theories relating to this event. According to most of the scientists, a small asteroid or comet exploded in the Earth's atmosphere that is above the ground. This impact was sufficient to shock the entire area, but there are disagreements to this theory. According to astrophysicist Wolfgang Kundit, it was not the crater impact. Rather, this event was caused due to release and subsequent explosion of 10 million tons of natural gas from within Earth's surface. While some other scientists believe it was due to a black hole chipping through Earth. So, now we see